Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have another different kind of video for you. Maybe. This isn't so much for you. It's for us. We need your help. Yeah. So in September of last year, we got engaged and we are confident in the marriage, in the relationship, and in the wedding. Um, we're not so confident in the planning and <laughs> how's that going to happen uh, and, you know, what does it look like and yeah. all of those things. So um, we're coming to you in hopes that you guys will spam up the comments and <laughs> point us in some sort of direction. Right. So here's what we have so far. We're pretty sure, so we live in Iowa. We know 100% we want to get married in Colorado. Right. We have been there a couple of times. It's beautiful. We're kind of into nature and yeah. music. And, We're a little hippy dippy. And yeah, all of that stuff. Uh, we know the ceremony is going to be just us. We're not going to ask for people to come pay to go. We're not going to pay to have other people go. We want it to be intimate and just us. Right. So that part we know. Um, we did talk about we want to be like basically on top of a mountain somewhere. Somewhere very scenic. Right. And I would like private. Um, but where were we looking? We were looking at... But it could be a park or whatever. Yeah. What you mean by private... Not like people rushing by and right, whatever. right, right. Yeah, I, I, I mean, for me, I was thinking somewhere like absolutely beautiful, uh, remote, mountainous. Um, mm -hmm. We were looking kind of online in the Silverton area, and uh, Durango, um, Telluride. Um, but we're up for anything. The problem that we're having, the biggest problem with our planning is. You know, with winter and everything, a lot of those places that we're talking about are closed down because of snow. And so, like, once we get down there to be able to look at stuff, we'd like some ideas or some places to go check out so that, you know, when we are ready to get married, we'll have it all planned out. And the problem is, is a lot of those places don't defrost until... Yeah, like pretty, July. <laughs> pretty close to when we want to get married. Okay. So we know that part. We don't know if we want to hire a photographer or we have a couple family members that are into photography. Mm -hmm. So we certainly could ask them. Um, but then it gets into just it just so happens too, different kids are into photography. And so then it's that whole thing. Are they going to pay to go? Do we have to pay? I mean, I don't want them to have that expense of going there. Right. Um, anyway, so it gets tricky, right? Yeah. Or we could hire somebody, um, but then it's not as personal. So mm -hmm. that's one of our obstacles. What else about the wedding itself? We don't know what we're wearing. No, we have no idea yet. I would like something that is a little bit different. I mean, not exactly formal, but you know, I don't, I don't know exactly. Right. So we don't have that locked down. Uh, we don't have our wedding bands. Yeah. We should. Yeah. Basically, it's a whole lot of ideas right now. And so you're getting in on the ground floor and we're going to come back to you. We're hoping to use you guys as like our accountability partners right. because we have to kick it into gear. Yeah. So the wedding itself, we need to know where we're going to where we're going to have the location. We need to get that figured out. We need to figure out where we're going to stay as well. I'm not as stressed about that. I think no, we'll you find know, something. we'll figure that out. But as far as the wedding itself, we definitely have to have outfits. Um we're not going to do flowers. We kind of want whatever we want it to be natural setting yeah but we may have some kind of something wedding ish i don't know what that would be yeah we'll figure it out so anyway that's the wedding mm -hmm. part is there anything else you guys tell us so that's another thing yeah do we send out so we have to have some sort of like wedding announcement or something right so because 
we're pretty much just doing the wedding by ourselves, like Laura mentioned, because we don't want to have a bunch of family go out there. Plus, you know, we just want it to be intimate and like just between the two of us. Uh, but we are planning on coming back and having a reception. Um, and then, you know, we still got to plan all that stuff out um, so that, you know, we'll have all of our friends and family come for that. Right. And so here's here's what we need. Where do we even start? I guess, you know, we have to find a venue. I do not want it to be outdoors. For the reception. Yes. Yeah. Ideally, I would love for it to be outdoors. Right. And I have a couple of idea, like, ideas of places in mind, but I don't want that whole stress about weather. Weather, yeah. So we have to find a location. I guess maybe the first thing, what do you do first? Sit down and write all of the people that you want to invite and then pick a venue based upon people? I don't know. That's what know. makes sense to me. Yeah. And then, That's true. You got to know how many people you think might come, so... Right. Before you can pick a venue, because you don't right. want one too small or too big. Right. Well, and then we have to figure out what kind of reception we want to have. If we want to have it fully catered and have a meal. We both like to cook, and so we've thought before about, do we want to provide some... No, I'm saying we've thought about that. We have talked Somebody's about that. Somebody's thought about that. Right. No, well, I mean, it would be kind of cool in a way if it was very small, like if it was food that we made ahead of time and somebody else can heat it up or whatever. Yeah. But I don't, I don't even know if I want to provide food to tell you the God's honest truth. The other thing that I had thought about was after we find out whatever venue that we're going to have, I really wanted this local band that Laura and I really like. And I thought if we saved on money or on food and had like a um, like a food truck come and then if people are hungry, they can get food from the food truck. Right. And then we would have the band. But that goes back to location, right? Because right. some venues are like, hey, you're going to use. Yeah, you're going to use our, our food. Stuff. Yeah. So if you're have food, you're going to have our food. And so there's that whole thing. I think at the reception um it's going to music is very important so i think i've got that locked down but we need to so you you said band i don't know about band mm, i think it would be awesome and the reason i say i don't know i think it would be awesome too but there are particular songs i would like to hear yeah. So then how does that work, guys? If Bring if, your boom box. if our <laughs> song or you know, let's say there's a couple of songs that are important to us and this band doesn't play them, which they don't, um, then how does that work? Is it rude to say <laughs> if you have a band at your wedding, we're gonna ha have like I don't know. We are, so Three of our four parents are gone, so we want to have like a tribute. So that song is most important to me. Yeah, right. So I don't want to compromise. Or, you know, some people have a certain like first dance song or whatever. I don't really want to compromise on the music. Right. That's what's most important. We, we go to concerts all the time, and um, I play instruments, and I taught music, and so... That's very important to me. I don't I don't want to skimp on that. So there's that. So if we don't provide food, you guys tell us, is that rude? Mm. Like obviously I we're think gonna people have are cake. Gonna expect something, at least appetizers or something. So maybe we could do snacks and appetizers and yeah. cake and dessert and whatever. Because I was thinking a later reception and just have it be a big party. Like, right. you know. Not, not the whole, not that there's anything wrong with it, but, you know, cocktail hour and appetizers and then plated dinner and all of that stuff is not us. No. So. I still like the idea of the food truck. Yeah. So, anyway, you're just basically sitting in while we have <laughs> yeah. a little meeting about our <laughs> wedding. But now it's going to be a little series. Now we're going to come back and tell you things as we figure them out, we have to. And if you guys have any ideas, I don't even really know. So for example, um, I have an idea of a dress, but I don't really know where to find said dress. Like there's just, I don't know. Okay. A what's lot your, of things. What's your idea? 
Well, I don't know that I want to talk about that. Oh, right okay. Now. All right. I don't know if I want to talk about it in uh, front of you. Gotcha. I don't know. I'll figure I think about we it. need to coordinate. So will you think about that and then we'll talk about it. Yeah. Anyway. So, what else do you want to talk about? Hmm. Well, as far as like wedding place, we did look into Rocky Mountain National Park, but they're very restrictive. It's like they have six places in the whole park that you can have a wedding, two weddings per day at those six uh, places. And it's like a $300 application fee and you don't even know whether you're going to get the day that you want. How do people plan that way? And here's our big thing. So we haven't set a date yet. We're thinking August, but we're ready like tomorrow, really. I mean, we're not ready obviously right, yeah. plan wise but we're ready to go ahead and get married there's nothing holding us back but we were just thinking august would give us enough time to be ready but i don't know how to be ready we can't even pick a date because we can't go look at locations but we have to pick a date if we're going to reserve places and right send out invitations and all of that stuff yeah because also what's at issue here is i am very limited on my vacation days for work so it's not like we can pop down and just go whenever right to um you know like check out the area and find our spot that we want to use right it's a couple day trip yeah so and he wants to have the time after we get married yeah yeah when we go to get married we'd like to go to red rocks and see maybe the black crows Mm -hmm. um you know we'd like to go through colorado and have fun right and not just rush down have have our wedding and then rush back and then have to go back to work so yeah and then we'll have the reception a couple weeks later yeah so So. i kind of had this idea if nobody else has any input for us that We might be able to go down for July 4th and find where we want to go and then come back, get our marriage license, and then come back a month later and do the wedding ceremony. So that might work, but it would certainly help if we had your input um, and maybe some assistance in finding some beautiful mountainous locations. Right. So here's what we need. If you're in Colorado and have any ideas about photographers, locations, yeah, uh, places to stay even, um, any of that kind of thing. We'd love to hear that. If you're not in Colorado and you've planned a wedding recently, any tips and tricks would be helpful, especially if you've done a destination wedding. I realize we're, you know, there's a lot of resort kind of places where they have everything ready to go for you. You go to right. whatever hotel and they're like, yep, we've done that a million times. You want to get married on the beach? Great. Here's what you need. You know, or Vegas. They're, they're ready for you to get married there. Right. But we're, we're having to think of everything. So... Let us know if you've done either destination or planned a wedding recently um, or what else? Um, what else are we looking for? Or websites or apps or anything that you found that was useful to yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, it's stressful, right? Like the wedding part isn't... I'm. The marriage part isn't stressful at all. The right. wedding part isn't even honestly that stressful. Right. It's just all the logistics. It's a lot of money. We'd like to... That's the other thing. We would like this to be budget friendly because there's a lot of other things that we want and need. Right. Um, but we still want it to be beautiful and memorable and fantastic and perfectly right. us. Right. That's what we're looking for, you know? Right. Um... So, I mean, any help that you guys can give us, we'd certainly appreciate it. We would very much appreciate it. Tell us, you know, um, advice. I, I, I can tell you a couple of my friends said, just go elope and don't do, have the wedding be exactly, because the wedding isn't going to be expensive at all. No. That we're planning. So I've had a couple of people say, just go elope and forget the reception, <laughs> forget all of that stuff. But I think that it's important to, a, a lot of our friends have been very supportive and happy in our relationship. And I think we want to share it with them. We have kids that I think want to be a part of it in some way. So 
I think we have to do something. Yeah. Um, but again, budget friendly. We're very into color and um, nature, music. I don't know. Life, love, all that stuff. Yeah. So, if you like I said, if you have any tips or tricks, we would greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. And I think that's all we have for today, right? Yeah, for right now, you know, we'll you know, if you guys can comment, we'll we'll take those inputs and we'll have another video. Yeah, we're stressed. So, we're filming this um the third week of February. That's like 6 months. I know. Away. And it'll go quickly. You yeah. Know, it, and that's the thing that's really awesome about what we're planning on doing is it's not that bad for us to go have our wedding because it is just us. I could only imagine what people go through when they're doing a destination wedding with a million visitors or, you know, attendants. Right. Yeah. And parents in your ear or yeah. kids in your ear or... <laughs> All of that stuff, we don't, we, you know, we're fortunate we don't have that. All the kids are supportive. Just, you know, just yeah. let us know when and where and whatever you want. And Forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And our friends are that way too. But anyway, so if you don't follow us on Instagram and you want to um, send us any, you know, tag us in anything or whatever, over there we're love and junk with no D. So it's L-O-V-E-A-N-J-U-N-K. Mm -hmm. Certainly you can send us a message too or just comment on this video or any video and we'll see it. Right. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We love our subscribers and we really do enjoy communicating with you guys. We yeah. are honestly looking for your help. Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you're interested in our journey for our wedding, make sure you subscribe because we will be putting up uh, videos of the actual wedding. Maybe. We will. And maybe we'll go ahead and link um, the story of when we got engaged to yeah. this video, too, right. if you haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Was it Riot Fest last year? So, um, yeah. So, do subscribe and hit the little bell um, so you can be notified <laughs> when those new videos do go up. If you're watching us for the first time ever, hello. Welcome to our channel. This is not normally what we do. We're normally eating things or mostly yep. eating things. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Trying new things, but um, this is real life, right? Right. So, anyway, if you like love or junk, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or us, or you've you've been there, done that, mm -hmm. give this video a big thumbs up, and that's all we have for today. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.